Over the course of this um, showcase, I'll be discussing um, the problem that we're tackling, um, hopefully dis displaying the live demo and why we built it, and then briefly talking about the impact and what we hope to um, see in the future um, in regards to our solution. Our problem statement is as follows. Uh, a lack of effective solutions to monitor the implications of climate change on Indigenous communities hinders the understanding of the harm caused to Indigenous heritage, uh, health and lifestyle values. So what exactly do we mean by this? Well, we believe that there aren't enough monitoring solutions around and of the ones that do exist, they don't provide um, the necessary data um, to derive important um, information that can be used in decision making. Um, there's also a lack of real-time data. So that means that for the data which does exist, um, it's just not good enough because it's not being gathered quickly enough and it's not being transmitted um, soon enough to the people that need it. And finally, there's a lack of collaboration in policy development because the current solutions only apply to small areas, um, meaning that there are information silos. So there are people that have um, different findings um, spread throughout the country and that leads to different remedies being used and a bunch of knowledge gaps. So this is where our solution Custodian, our client-side server application actually comes into play. So how exactly does it work? Um, well. The entire thing is based around citizen science, once again, so it's going to be a survey system at its core. Um, it allows citizens to send data on what they see in their everyday lives with regards to the environment uh, and the Indigenous community. But there also exist some other innovating um, elements as well. And this is just meant to uh, act as a catalyst for scientists and analysing parties to get the data that they need. Um, so I'm just going to start up the Android app that we developed. And this is the first thing that you should see when you uh, open it up. So it's a splash screen and um, it gives you the ability to um, either log in or create an account. As you can see, there's uh, multiple different types here. We have text, images and videos. And um, we're just doing that for the sake of simplicity. So um, for now, let's just try and um, make an image post. As you can see here, um, all you have to do is provide a title, brief description, pick a category, and uh, insert the actual image. So I actually have an image here of a forest fire, so I'm just gonna call that uh, forest fire. And then for the description, I'll just say, I a forest fire. Um, in actual application, you see a bunch of um, individuals using this in order to um, actually recount like special events that may happen or um, looking at things like, you know, eco-friendly behavior. And we believe that that's something that we, that we wanted to capture so that scientists could use this um, to you know, create um, some very meaningful analysis. Um, once you send information about that, now you, um, you have to go ahead and send information about um, your thoughts on the Indigenous community. And we've split it up into three short questions. Um, the first being on the Indigenous heritage, so the health of it. Um, the second on the current work that's being done to preserve it and the last, which is on um, the exposure that people have to this. Um, so I'm just gonna fill that in quickly. And as you can see, um, that's basically it. Um, the entire thing is meant to be very short. Um, and we've done that in order to um, ensure that our application, um, it's able to you know, get that information very quickly. Um, in terms of the other surrounding features of the application, like, um, the home menu, we have a leaderboard, which obviously goes back to that point system. Um, but we also have an events near me feature and you can also see some trending stories. Um, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at um, that post that we just made. Uh, as you can see, it shows up right here, um, but it says it hasn't been analyzed yet. So why don't we go ahead and find one which has, um, and there should be one right here. Uh, there you go. And now you can see that it's also telling us to check our messages. Um, and if you go to the profile page, we actually have a messaging um, function over here. And um, that allows us to um, give the scientists a way to say thank you to the um, users for you know, submitting data. And that's um, part of our uh, you know, gamification and um, positive reinforcement factor. Um, finally, the last element I'd like to talk about is the reward system, which is actually our most innovative feature. And that's um, another reason why we have point system in the first place. And that's um, to give users a, a big reason to actually want to use the app in the long term, because we believe that uh, otherwise they wouldn't. Um, so you can take a look at stuff like this. So they, they consume a bunch of your points. Um, obviously, we can't afford this one, so it won't give it to us. But 
um, for example, we can afford a charity donation. So if we actually consume our points, we get a QR code and a physical string over here that we can then um, just hand over to uh, other people. Um, so for example, you'd hand that to the cashier if you had a discount. Uh, thank you, Whitland, that it's a very nice application and uh, it's a very great uh, team effort and that this project is going the over and beyond expectations that we uh, compared to the start of that at the time we start this project. So Australian Red Cross actually helping uh, First Nations people to mitigating their risks related to climate change and probably this would be the perhaps it's a world first uh, mobile application which was developed for First Nations people to capturing the feedback uh, related to climate change. It's a very innovative project uh, and uh, and you thought quite uh, diversified areas like reward systems and how, and thoughts and feelings how to express the ideas. So it's a very good uh, good uh, implementation uh, and I talk a lot of uh, internal staff related to this uh, this uh, application and they are also very quite impressed the way that it is articulated and implemented.